Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Mary Louise Wankonde. Hi, Lou. C'est Marie Louise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I mean, I want to thank uh, my uh, classmate, my wonderful classmate, to choose me to do the part, you know, to be part of the project. So, basically, like I was saying, my name is Mary Louise. I come from Africa. My country is Gabon, G-A-B-O-N, and we are located in Central Africa, close to Congo and Cameroon. So basically, we are like a small country with like a really small population, mm -hmm. so many people don't know. That's why I spare the country. If somebody wants to Google it, you know, and know more about our country. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, so basically, I think the project is about, like, comparing well, the media. the here. media in, co in your country uh -huh. compared it to the United States. Okay. So basically, uh, first of all, I don't know if there is a black people or people from Africa, sorry, in the class. And I don't want to stereotype, you know what I'm saying? I just want to be truth because I think when things has to be say we have to say it loudly and say the truth because in order to call all attention you know and like you know like say what we have to say you know what i'm saying so i mm -hmm. won't i won't be true i won't i will say the truth about okay. africa so like i was saying there is no comparison you know comparison huh? yeah because in Africa, the media is just fucked up. Sorry for the word, but I have to say it's that. a corrupted. Also, yes, that means very, it's a corrupted. Exactly government. correct. The government corrupted. If you are like a media, if you are like do, like doing the media and all of the stuff, never think about coming in Africa. Mm -hmm. And basically, in like poor, you know, country or undeveloped country in Africa, this is the worst ever because you will never, never, like do your job properly. You will so. be dicting what you have to say. Dictating, what, yeah. Uh -huh. Dicta dictating, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I wish, I wish, I wish one day we can have a really, really strong, you know, and powerful and free media to tell the world what is going on in Africa. Mm -hmm. Because there is a lot going on in Africa. I couldn't believe, like, today we are, like, in you know, 20 centuries, or 21 centuries, sorry, and we still live in this type of condition, corruption. And when I say corruption, I know everywhere there is corruption, but in Africa is another level of corruption. Oh, corruption. Uh -huh. corruption. So that means that you, you have been a journalist over there, the media, uh -huh. then you are very afraid. The, the journalists can, can okay. talk. Can't, they right? can't talk because mm -hmm. if they speak, if they speak, they stand Your life for is the rights danger. of human being, mm -hmm. their life will be in danger. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of journalism, journalists sorry, who have been like immigrated in France, mm -hmm. Cameroon, and even here, I know two of them here, they live in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Because they have, they're trying to tell the truth. They went against the government. The, the government. Mm -hmm. You know, so the government didn't like it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? There is many journalists right now in prison in my country, put in jail mm -hmm. because they didn't, you know, like conspiracy or conspiracy. agree uh -huh. with the government way of, you know, mm -hmm. ruling the country and all of this stuff. But I think today the technology we need media, we mm -hmm. need them because they are the one who report the news and they are the one who makes the news broader spread mm -hmm. the news do they have uh, online uh, media over there everything if yes. you go online everything is directed by the government mm -hmm. they tell you what you have to do it's only good things it's only good things but this is how come because mm -hmm. when people are coming in our country the first day even when you put your foot you fit on the airport, you will feel like this country needs help. Because mm -hmm. if the media don't talk, who is going to talk? Because that's the duty to report what's going on. Exactly. If we need help for, like, you know, like a uh, United States, European mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. like, like developed country, we need to be, they need to listen to see what's going on. They need to listen, you know, mm -hmm. people, the truth. But nobody wants to talk because everybody is afraid. Exactly. We live in the dictatorial ship. 
-hmm. There is no, in Africa, is no, there, is, there is no democracy, starting with media, journalism. Mm -hmm. You know, so how do you want to... So definitely it's no comparison or it's not whatsoever. Compare. I whatsoever. wish today, today, I really, I thank God he gave me this, you know, credible opportunity to be here and to be a U.S. citizen and also to be part of, you know, like Donald Trump, you know, like, you know, like uh, generation. Because mm -hmm. of this uh, stupid man, we can see the power of the media in America. Exactly. We can see the power of the media in America. In America, we can talk about freedom of media because they're free to point their hands in the, 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 the head of this country because it doesn't do its job properly, because it's not good, mm -hmm. you know? So they're not afraid to tell him like, sir, you're doing wrong. Exactly. You know, even though today we can feel like there is a big, 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 you know, clash between the media and, and the, the government. government. Mm -hmm. Because the media tell the truth, you know, they want people to be aware of what is really going on in the White House and all of those things. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish we can have this type of media in Africa one day in order to disclosure the really face of Africa, the government in Africa, especially in Gabon, in my country. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm trying to do my best to be the best of the best and go back tomorrow to advocate for this. People has to open their eyes in Africa, and especially in Gabon. And I, there is always amelioration to do, like media here, they can ameliorate themselves here mm -hmm. in America and do better. But from Gabon, and, and I will say Africa, there is no comparisons. Sorry. Definitely. There is definitely well, no comparison. Thank you, Mabu. Uh -huh. the, the government, at the end of the day, you know, they are the one who control the media. Exactly. So no. If the same thing happens to all other countries, like in South America, uh, uh, one of them is in Mexico. Mexico, uh, same thing. Uh, they are very, they're prosecuted in in their uh, the, the government. They can sometimes. In, in that case, not even the government is probably Operation. more is is uh, yeah everything but all of the bad the uh, cartels are in, in Mexico in my country will be in but that's why we need people like you, my sister. We need people like you because you are gonna be the next media. You need to talk about that. Don't just look in America. Mm -hmm. America is the head, but behind America. There is Other a lot countries. of countries who are crying that, mm -hmm, and calling for help. for help. Exactly. This is what we hear. We hear because we have to take these good things. In America, I heard this word freedom. Mm -hmm. Before I came here, I didn't know what does mean freedom. But since I'm here, since I'm going to school, I study the values of life, society, human being, and all of the stuff, I do understand the word freedom, democracy. We need the freedom of media in Africa, Gabon. And please. We need people like you tomorrow to talk about that. Send journalists over there to see what's really going on. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you, Marie. It was a pleasure. Bye, guys.